Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Ryan Stevenson. I'm a singer-songwriter, Christian artist. I'm out here on tour right now with the Newsboys on the God's Not Dead tour. And we are in an arena today. We're backstage in the catering area. Today, part of what I wanted to just show you is a little behind the scenes of how I prepare, you know, some meals while we're out here on tour. Um, and how I try to stay healthy, some things that I just kind of go to while we're touring. So one of my favorite things that I love to make um, as a meal, as a snack, is guacamole. So it's such a it's such a great, such a great all-around meal. Number one, avocados, all the vegetables, everything that you're gonna get in this meal is you know super high in fiber, high in vitamin C, honestly, um, no cholesterol lots of amazing vitamins and nutrients and minerals and all this stuff so it's, it's just great. First thing I'll do is I'll just take a couple avocados and I'll slice them up. I'll get them out and I just kind of twist them like that. Get the pit out and I just kind of squeeze them in to a bowl like that. There's multiple ways to do this but I'm just kind of doing it the quick and the quick and easy and the dirty way. Just go for it. Squeeze out, squeeze out the avocado. You're not going to leave that much left in there. Obviously, keep your hands nice and washed. And just for today, I'll just do one more. Even though I got four here, I'll just do one more avocado. There we go. These are nice and ripe. Next thing I would like to put in my guac is just a little bit of onion. Obviously, we have a whole onion here, but I'm, a, I'm probably only going to use about that much of it. So we'll just slice this onion up and you can you can slice it as thick or as thin as you want to depending on the consistency that you like your guac I kinda like mine a little bit more pureed if you will and so I like to I like to chop them up pretty fine typically if I was at home I would be using a, a, a food processor or a like a little chopper to get these all nice and finely cut up you don't want to overdo it with the onion because then that'll the onion tends to kind of override the taste of your avocado and that's not what you want to do. So I'll just throw some of that onion in there. Next thing I'll do is I'll just take a tomato and you know what I'm gonna just get rid of that end right there. Chop up a tomato. Same exact thing depending on how thick and or how the consistency that you want your guac is kind of the consistency that you want to chop it all up. Again, I like mine. I don't like it super chunky, so I like to chop it up really good. You know, food, healthy eating is, is really, really in, important to me. Um, just because I've went through quite a, I've been on quite a weight loss journey personally. Um, I've lost, I've lost 130 pounds total. And so I used to weigh 300 pounds. So part of, you know, a major part of my story and a large part of my life is eating healthy. And so whether I'm on the road or off the road, I'm, I'm always pretty, pretty focused in on just making good health choices. I lost, you know, 130 pounds just in eating right and, and just simple exercising. No pills, no surgeries. And I love to just encourage people that, that you, can, you can do it. Last thing I probably put in is some limes and some cilantro. So I just take, you know, a whole lime, whoop, let's get this guy and just really squeeze it in there. And I kind of like it a little more, a little more zesty and limey than, than most. I think lime really brings out the flavor and a lot of stuff. Last thing I'll do is I'll just take a good amount of cilantro and I don't even deal with the stems. A lot of people would go ahead and clean that up. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to use this. And the more the more you chop up the cilantro here, the uh, the more it brings out all that flavor and all the oils in there. It really blends in the rock. You could also put jalapenos in this or, or peppers. Um, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to keep it simple because I don't want to, I don't feel like doing hot guac today. Too spicy, there we go. 
that's looking good. And you don't have to use it all. I'm just going to use like probably that much of it. Last thing you want to do, a little bit of salt and a little bit of garlic powder, cumin mixed. And then I'm just going to kind of stir this up a little bit. Really no perfect way to do this. You can kind of, if you don't, if it turns out the way you don't want it, you can always keep adding to. Take this little fork and kind of mash up some of that guac in there. There we go. You know, getting getting healthy, eating right on the road can be difficult. So you got to be super intentional and, and really deliberate about making those health conscious choices and say, you know, I have a lot of friends who were physicians in emergency rooms and they all say that your diet, your health, wellness, weight loss is about 85 to 90 percent what you're eating. And so it's very important, it's really important to make good eating choices. So there's our guac and uh, I picked up some authentic El Milagro authentic Mexican chips. We're going to try it out. And I'm not even going to try to do it fancy. Just going to go for it. Get a big old scoop of it in there. I have like probably the best guac I've ever made. It's so good. So there's our guac. You guys, thank you so much for letting me hang out with you guys for a few minutes. Um, if you want to just stay in touch with me, find any more about uh, my music or where I'm going to be touring, you can find me on anywhere on social media at www.ryanstevensonmusic.com. You can also find me on Twitter and Instagram at Ryan's Music, Ryan S. Music. And on Facebook, it's just facebook.com slash ryanstevensonmusic. I'd love to connect with you guys there. I'd love to just continue to encourage you guys just to stay healthy, keep making good choices with your food and your diet and your healthy lifestyle. God bless you guys.